As the number of immigrants to the United States increases, so does the need to educate the children who are part of those families. Tonight, KDK's Barry Pintar has some insight into how school districts in Westmoreland County are trying to meet that challenge. It is mid-afternoon here at Burrell High School in the Burrell School District in Westmoreland County. There are 17 school districts in Westmoreland County. Their job, of course, to teach any student that shows up throughout the year. That is, any student, whether they speak English or not. A group of students entering Burrell High School in Westmoreland County, here to learn. More and more of the students in Westmoreland County classrooms, though, are what's called English language learners, the latest terminology for students who need to learn English as well as the typical subjects of the day. The number of those English language learners here in these 17 school districts has doubled in the last five years. Unless there's a certified instructor that can teach them uh, not just the language, but how to learn in this language, um, it, you know, there's a deficit and it wears heavy on, on teachers. Now, financially, there's a cost involved. Dr. Greg Egnor is in charge of student services in the Burrell School District. It's his responsibility to make sure the students who don't speak English can still be educated in all subjects. I think it's more of an emotional strain than a financial strain. To be honest with you, uh, any educator is going to have a soft spot for a child that's in a classroom that needs help. As school buses come and go throughout the day, part of the challenge comes in the number of the various languages that will have to be incorporated. It's not only Spanish. It's a staggering 35 to 40 different languages. While educators who speak the language are best, thanks to emerging technologies, some of these language barriers can be addressed using latest technologies like phone apps or computer programs. Barry Pintar, KDKA-TV News.